Hello friends, this video is for class 6 to 12 and this is going to be very important for all of you because I have observed one important thing that is so many students are facing different kind of difficulties when they are learning about uh, climate, natural vegetation, soil, so many chapters in geography. And I think the basic reason of such kind of difficulty is that they don't have basic idea about the rotation, regulation, equinox, summer solstice, winter solstice, aphelion, perihelion, so many things are there which are directly or indirectly related to this chapter. And in this video, we will cover each and every topic, each and every points which will be very very important for all of you. And I think after watching this video, we will solve so many problems and this will help us to learn about different chapters in geography. Let's start with the uh, rotation. What is rotation? Actually, rotation means this is the movement of earth from especially from west to east. The movement of earth on its axis. Here axis means this is an imaginary line drawn from the north pole to south pole. We can see here this is the north pole and this is the south pole and this is an imaginary line which is called as the axis of the earth. Our main point is why this rotation of the earth is important. We can see here due to this rotation of the earth day and night occurred. That means the half portion of the earth which is facing the sun is experiencing the day and another portion is experiencing night. And due to west to eastward rotation of the earth, the easternmost state that is Arunachal Pradesh in India received first daylight and after that almost two hours later Gujarat also experiences this daylight. Coming to the next point, what is revolution? Revolution means this is the movement of earth around the sun on a fixed path. And this is important, we can see here how this uh, due to revolution, how different months are coming. We can see the location of the earth on the solar system. We can see how this uh, January, February, March, April, etc, etc, these months are coming. That means due to revolution, seasons are changing. Here we can see how these uh, months are changing. And due to elliptical path of the movement of the earth, on 3rd January, the earth lies closest to the sun, which is known as perihelion, we can see here. And on 4th July, lies farthest from the sun, which is known as aphelion. Coming to another point, summer solstice and winter solstice. Here solstice means one of the earth's pole, it may be north or it may be south, its maximum tilt towards the sun. And therefore, due to maximum tilt of the north pole towards the sun, on 4th July, it is known as summer solstice. During this time, the length of the day is longer than night. And on the other hand, due to the maximum tilt of the south pole towards the sun, on 21st or it may be 22nd December, it is known as winter solstice. During this time, the length of the day is shorter than night. Coming to the last point, that is uh, equinox. Equinoxes are only the time when the both the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere experience roughly equal amount of daytime and nighttime. That means during this time, the length of the day and night, it is equal. On an around 20 or 21st Mars, the length of the day and night, it become equal and it is known as vernal equinox. And on the other hand, on an around 23rd September, uh, again the length of the day and night become equal. It is known as autumnal equinox. I think after watching this video, you will be able to easily understand the topic like climate, natural vegetation, soil, etc. etc. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share this video with others. Thank you so much for watching this video.